It's been another uh, busy year for us here at LifeLight, particularly on the Sunshine Coast. We've had, uh, over the last 12 months, we've completed uh, another 496 uh, missions. We do all different types of jobs and it ranges from what we call primaries where we attend the scenes, we can go direct to a patient and we also go to hospitals and uh, transfer patients. The, uh, the most jobs that we've done out of here out of the Sunshine Coast have been for heart attacks. Uh, we've done uh, about 132 cardiac patients in the last 12 months and we've also done the second most amount of uh, jobs we've been to is to car accidents where we attended uh, about 94, so just under 100 car accidents in the last 12 months. So some standout mis missions that we've done in the last 12 months, we had uh, back in March, we had a, a winch mis uh, mission which was where a yacht up uh, near Fraser Island, Tin Can Bay got caught uh, in the rip there and three people, young people, were swept overboard and uh, I was on that mission and uh, uh, one of our rescue swimmers had to go down and pull those people out of the water in quite big seas. So that was, a, that was one of those uh, actually bigger sort of sea rescues we've done in some time. We also had a mission where a plane crashed up at uh, Fraser Island into the water and uh, we went up and helped with two pilots out of that aircraft uh, there up at uh, Fraser Island with a plane crash. And another search that we've done in the last 12 months was just a local search on the Sunshine Coast where two bush runners uh, went missing overnight and they were out in the cold overnight and fortunately uh, our, uh, our people were able to locate them first thing in the morning, morning and get them home to their loved ones. Out there in the community, people see us as a rescue helicopter and they think of the, the uh, big tasks we do, like winches and things like that. But really our core role as a flying uh, intensive care ambulance is to help also people with medical conditions. So uh, really it's the everyday person that uh, we help the most, whether it be uh, they having heart attacks or whether they're just um, having an anaphylactic uh, shock. If they're a certain distance away from hospital, we're there to get them there faster than they can by ambulance. So that's why we really need uh, the support of the community and to, yeah, I hope that people realise that uh, we do more than just rescue people that uh, maybe do some silly things. We're really there for everyone in the community for when uh, they may have a medical condition. With every year that passes, uh, we, uh, we have changing uh, challenges um, and that we need to deal with. So it's always interesting to take stock at what the past year has brought us. We look at our training, we're always looking at external uh, training, what others are doing and try, trying to uh, improve upon what, what we do, whether that be with our uh, system, aircraft systems or the training itself, we're always trying to do better and uh, hopefully that in the next 12 months that we can continue to uh, provide the service that we have and continue to improve upon the service that we provide to the community.